Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to download and install GIMP 2.8. So to do this first you need to head on over to the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like the following. So once you're on this page you now need to go to the download button at the top here and we now need to click on download GIMP directly. You don't want to download it via a BitTorrent, basically that's using a third party application to download GIMP. We don't want to do this, we just want to download it directly to our computer. So you need to select download GIMP 2.8, well it might not be 2.8 when you come to this video later on, but for now it's 2.8. So we're going to select download GIMP and we're going to go save file. So just give that a couple of seconds to download and once it's downloaded we can run the setup. So once that's finished downloading you can now click in the top right corner and select GIMP setup. And you now need to select your language and hit OK. And we now need to go install. If you want to have a little look in customize, you can by all means. So let's just go through the customize um, options just so you can see what it's like. So we need to go next and we can select where we want GIMP to install. So my C drive is absolutely fine. So we're going to go next and here you can select what plugins and stuff you want on GIMP. So I'm going to leave full installation selected. But if you do want to save a bit of space, then you could deselect support for old plugins or just whatever you want really. So we're going to go next and here you can select which files you want um, associated with GIMP. So basically what that means is, say if I have a file on my background here, if I double click it, it will load up in GIMP. So we're going to go next now. And we're going to create a desktop icon and we can now hit install. So just give this a couple of seconds to install. Right now that's finished installing we can hit finish and you can now open up GIMP by double clicking it if you set the desktop shortcut on your desktop if that makes sense. So this can take a little while as this is the first boot of GIMP so it's just preparing the whole program ready for us and there you have it it's as simple as that we now have GIMP installed on our machine so I hope this tutorial helped if it did hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials